Sup shooters, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to SB Reviews where today we're going to be checking out a track by an artist or a group musicians. Uh, Freddy Zouche and Universe Club and this track is going to be called Welcome to Brighter Days. Without further ado, we're going to switch over to here to our YouTube. I've now got everything set up properly, I think. Studio official and the description reads, Welcome to Brighter Days, top music event with international artists and choirs, lyrics and music, Freddie Zouchet. Is it, sorry, Freddie Zouchet, I should say. And uh, we've got a lot of love. We've got a lot of love. We've got a lot of love for this. Um, very good light to dislike ratio. So we're going to put this full screen and we're going to watch this video and we're going to hear what we think. And uh, boom. Okay. Wow. Wow, what an incredible introduction already. Don't worry, I'm not going to be pausing this throughout the piece like every couple of seconds, but it just entered so quickly, didn't it? There was no messing around. There was no intro core. It was just instrument percussion. And then it had a sort of a sort of a synth kind of sequencer and then vocals. Jungle Lees. It's got a real 80s vibe to it, doesn't it? It's kind of like those kind of 80s kind of fun, dancey sort of ballads. It 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 actually reminds me of this time of year. It's got that kind of tonality like to the guitars, the kind of jangly kind of guitars and the drums are nice and thick and the bass is really full. It, I wasn't turning it down because I disliked it. It was because I remembered that I had my headphones up quite a bit higher <laughs> from doing some other music production before, but really still our effort so far. And the vocalists, both the lady, and uh, Freddy are just on point. This is a hook, is it? Hey, that's a lovely positive message. Samira Ben Noreen. Apologies for the pronunciation, it's not fantastic, but I'll try my best. Oh, that's. I'm loving the vibes from this, eh? What a joyous experience this is. Diamonds in the sand, that's lovely imagery there. Really, really dope lyrics. I'm really enjoying the general vibe of this. Oh, cool. I'm loving the shake up here. Like there's so much instrumentation going on from like those synth sort of uh, sequences. You've got the bass, the, the guitars and, and the drums and the vocal overdubs and the choir. And just there's so many cool little elements to this that are making sense together. It's incredibly coherent and it feels it sounds so complete. And it's just so interesting and so full of positivity and charisma. I have a lot of love for this track. No wonder it's so well liked. Hey, it looks like everyone's having fun as well. Michael Vale Bloom, Los Angeles, USA. That's a sick studio he's got there. I love that, that kind of Live Aid kind of video thing. Hey, a key change. This is exactly what I wanted from this. This is beautiful. You've got that signature kind of key change to make things sound even more uplifting and breathtaking. It's, 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 it's so on point. I'm assuming this is one of those lockdown videos, right? 
People are just looking forward to getting outside. Phenomenal. Everyone involved did an incredible job, and it was so cool to hear all the different vocalists and all the different musicians. Welcome to Brighter Days, lyrics and music by Freddy Shuzuche, producer Mikhail Vale Bloom, cameras Alistair McMillan, Sebastian Fabry, Romy Zouche, Freddy Zouche, and Bruce Wellington. Color grading. Wow, there is a lot of people involved with these. You got Rudy Suche who did the acoustic guitar as well. That's fantastic. We had vocals from uh, Jungle Lee's, Samira, uh, Benarine, Benarine, and then we've got Warren Jefferson, Walls, LAC, uh, Mikhail uh, on keyboard. Wow, electric guitar and choirs. There's so much involved here, dude. There were like how many? How many? How many record label? Like how many studios are involved here? There was like JL, JL Studio in London, there was the Adada Studio in Voiron, France, and then there was a Titan Studio recording in Los Angeles. Wow, this is phenomenal. This is so professional. This is so, so solid. And the music is across all these different platforms. Yeah, excellent. That's everything people need to know. Yep, I'm blown away by this. This is an incredible single. Freddie Zouche and Universe Club with Welcome to Brighter Days is exactly what we need at the end of this incredibly fatiguing year in certain respects. I'm not going to pretend that if absolutely 100% of what happened was, was terrible, but a lot of it was pretty tough on people. And I think a lot of people are looking towards the future now, looking towards 2021 and trying to look towards, as I was talking about, Brighter Days to go outside and hopefully be able to explore and find like a, a sort of a, a nicer sort of reality than what they have inside their own homes you know occasionally when i listen to songs about people wanting to escape it's because they are just that it's just it's it's from the angle where they're so sick of being inside that they just don't want to do it anymore and it's it's pretty brutal when that occurs i mean i understand the sentiment but what i love about what freddie zouche and the universe club have done with this particular track is that they're just expressing optimism without feeling sort of like negative about it it's pure bliss it's like it's happiness it's gratitude it's like i know th and optimism just completely just just it's just optimistic and i i adore it so much that optimism which is sort of left a lot of people this year it has come back in this song and i think it's very difficult to dislike a song like this let alone if we talk about the performance the orchestration and the songwriting it's just a really catchy single it's so wholesome there's no way you could really fault it the performances were completely on point it was mixed and mastered incredibly well across multiple studios multiple professional artists involved and I, I just it's just so so fun it was such a fun song to see to be able to and the video as well was was shot really well the cinematography was really cool it was great that they played around with those multiple shots of freddie and his like yellow sweater and stuff like that you know people dancing around smiling with their headphones on giving it their all they showed the different people playing the instruments it's just all those little touches to show hey this is a studio project in lockdown but everyone's having as good a time as they can and we just want to look towards a better future and I, I adore it. I, I want there to be more of this kind of music. I really, I really want there. <laughs> and this, <laughs> to anyone out there watching this who's wanted to make music, please, more of this kind of music, please. Not that it's like a problem for you to want to talk about the more negative aspects of 2020. But I think that people are, yeah. I, I'm, I, this makes me feel just genuinely relaxed. It's relaxing. To, to hear from people who feel that things can be better than now. And uh, yeah, I think I, I'm looking forward to, with everyone else in the globe, looking through the beach for diamonds. And uh, yeah, I, I think that if we just, on a final note, Freddie Zouche's vocals in particular were just so genuine. Obviously, Freddie has been singing for a while. His technique is, is fantastic. And there's there can be a tendency to really sort of ham it up in songs like this you know to overdo the kind of that kind of uh save we want to save the world kind of vibe but he was down to earth enough and human enough in this for it to be authentic and believable as a singer and as a musician in general and the production on behalf of michael is is that the name michael 
is just, yeah, I'm glad that he was involved as well. I'm not sure how many changes or how much of a sort of a, 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 an input he had on, on the source material. I'm not sure how this track was recorded and, and produced like in detail, but I could, I, it's always good to have a second pair of ears. And uh, yeah, that's basically all I've got to say about this. This was a longer video than I was expecting to make, but I do not regret that at all. I feel like I've spoken about everything I wanted to. Please do check out Freddy Zuchay. Zuchay. Apologies if my, for my pronunciation if this has been, if the pronunciation has been poor. Um, Freddy Zuchay and Universe Club. Welcome to Brighter Days. Please do check out their social medias and, and YouTube. And please, if you're feeling what these guys are putting out, go check out. Go, go purchase the song, you know, go support these guys, go stream it. Because again, this is just really fun stuff. And they, they've put a phenomenal amount of effort into trying to get this single out. And it's what I think a lot of people really need to hear at this point in time. Stay cool, stay safe. Please remember support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as you need the help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. I'll catch you next review. Spider hands out.